up for David Schwartz. This was definitely part of the act. How's everybody doing? There, there's a virgin out here. My, my, vir, my virginity is actually gro starting to grow back. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while. So I totally can, can understand what, what Nat's going through. Um, I just came in from outside and it's, it's at least eight to 10 shades of gray out there. There, there is des definitely some, some gray out there and it, uh, Sandy's coming. I mean, Sandy right around Halloween, isn't that great? She will be dressed like the biggest slut of anyone out there. It's great Halloween. You can dress whatever you want. Be a, a sexy cop, be a slutty cat, be a slutty doctor. I mean, how, who doesn't want to see a slutty doctor? Slutty doctors are awesome. I, I, I want to go there and just have like, you know, see a slutty doctor and get my ass like tasered or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, uh, by now I guess you've all checked into Foursquare, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google, or whatever other app you need so anybody can know that you're here and that you're not at home so they can rob you. Um, <laughs> I, I, I actually, um, I, was, I was down the street the other day, I was going to some club and I was, I was on my phone and I was like, oh, I wonder who's around here, what, what other places I can visit. And they said, and I looked up and it said, Alcoholics Anonymous. How the fuck are you anonymous when you're checking into Alcoholics Anonymous? <laughs> what kind of stupid shit is that? I mean, seriously, checking into Alcoholics Anonymous. So you know, my name is David. Here's my, my address, it comes up. Uh, oh, you can follow me on Twitter, cool. So every time there's an Alcoholics meeting, you can just meet me there. That, that is like, really amazing. I mean, technology is just blowing my mind. I mean, my five-year-old cousin, my five-year-old cousin just got an iPhone. Five fucking years old, and he has an iPhone. Who the fuck is he gonna call, Burn Ernie? <laughs> you got a date with Dora the Explorer tonight? I mean, seriously, five years old, Dora, Dora could be manipulative too, man. She's got that backpack. You don't know if she's got whips and chains, handcuffs. I mean, she is, I, I don't trust my cousin. I called his mother, I said, you better take that phone away. I mean, I don't want him, I don't want any bad shit happening with Dora, because she, she's crazy. I, anyway, uh, if you care, I'm single. It's because uh, I'm pro-life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pro-life. I like to actually have one. Um, anyway, thank you. <laughs> my, uh, my mom always asks me, you know, when I, when I come over to like a family event, you know, David, what, when are you going to bring home a nice Jewish girl? Mom, there are no nice Jewish girls. <laughs> I mean, haven't you learned by now? It's not 1955. They're, they're not wearing long dresses and whatever the shit they wear on their head. This, this is totally not going to happen. You're not gonna have, I don't care who I date. She'd be black, brown, yellow, octagon, trapezoid. I don't fucking care what she is, as long as she's good to me. That's all that matters. Um, so anyway, yeah, so having a neurotic mother kind of like puts you, a neurotic Jewish mother, let, let me, uh, she basically have, you know, you, you have the abilities to be a comedian. I mean, you look at Richard Lewis, you got a uh, neurotic, crazy Jewish mother. You got Larry David, neurotic, crazy Jewish mother. You got Chris Rock. Okay, he's just got a crazy black mom, but still, you get what I'm saying. Every famous comedian has a crazy mother. Um, it's, it's, it's tough, because like growing up your whole life, your mom wants you to be diagnosed. <laughs> and this, this, is, this is great, because um, you know, I've been diagnosed, I think, since I was five years old. Five years old, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you didn't color in the lines. You have, you have ADD. Uh, yeah, I have ADD. What's the score of the football game? Uh, anyway, um, so I've been di I was diagnosed with ADD before I was even at the peak where I could get ADD. 
So I was like pro pre long to fucking up no matter what. Um, so my mom, my mom like wants me to see this doctor. Oh, he doesn't have ADHD. He has ADD. Okay, so she sends me to another doctor. He doesn't have ADD. He has some kind of depression. Okay, great. Now my trust fund is surely uh, shrinking by this point. I, uh, I was really depending on that trust fund because, you know, I don't want to work. What person wants to work? I had a good trust fund going and you're spending it on doctors. I, I mean, I moved, moved back here from, from uh, after college, worked a little bit and uh, started my own business, which actually sucked, and <laughs> had to move home with my mom. So this was a while ago. I don't live with her anymore, thank God, and the God that I don't believe in. But anyway, so I worked, I worked my way up to you know, getting her to get me another diagnosis. Now I'm 30 years old and I'm still getting diagnosed. So I go, she sends me this diagnosis, you know, David, I think you still have some problems. You know, you, you really should see the psychiatrist. I'm like, okay. So I go to the psychiatrist and he says, David, you have Asperger's. I'm like, great, I have Asperger's. What the fuck is that? And he, he hands me this book. He's like, basically, it's a form of autism. Um, okay, so I'm reading it and uh, I'm like, okay, I have autism. Um, does that mean I'm Rayman? Can I go to a casino? Can I, can I win like $50,000 to pay you for my mom? No, David, it's not bad Asperger's, it's good Asperger's. Really? Great, so, so I have good Asperger's, okay. So for you guys that don't know what Asperger's is, it, it is a form of autism. Uh, for you guys who don't know what autism is, you're fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I, uh, so I'm, I'm dealing with this new thing that I gotta learn, like, you know, oh, I'm reading, doing some research. They, um, people with Asperger's are extremely honest and upfront. Oh shit, what a bad trait to have, an honest person? Oh my God, you mean I, I don't cheat on people? I don't, I don't steal, from the, steal from the rich or the poor? Oh my God, why would I want, why would I want to be honest and trustworthy? Um, oh, sometimes uh, people with Asperger's are acting inappropriately in social situations. I stuck my pinky up your ass. Is that bad? I didn't realize that. I, I, and then there's, uh, you know, David, uh, you know, glaring and staring. People with Asperger's glare or stare. I don't do this. I don't do this. I kind of glance, but I don't go like this. So I don't, that must be why I have mild Asperger's. It's not the full blown shit. So, um, I, and I didn't know whether it was contagious I didn't know whether I could give it to someone, like, you know, if I, if, I, if I wipe my ass and then put it on the seat, like, are you gonna get Asperger's? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So I'm trying to like read about this disability that makes me, you know, such a, you know, bad person in society or looked down upon, but I, I couldn't find anything bad. And I was just like starting to feel like a superhero. Like, I was starting to feel like, oh, I get a spidey sense when, when someone's near that I don't like. Or I, uh, when someone's lying to my face, I can, um, I can tell that they're lying. You, know, you ever see lie to me? Like, the guy like, looks at him, yeah, you're lying, you're lying. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, and have a great night. Guys, give it up for David Schwartz.